Hi, I'm Paul Schreiner and this is Canon. And now we're gonna look at how we uh, get to the neck when we're on our opponent's back and we have their arms trapped already. Because I think the way that we uh, expose the neck is a little bit different uh, here at Marcellus. It's what Marcel has taught us over the years. So, all right, we have a lot of different ways to get the, the arms trapped. But once the arms tra are trapped, the first situation we're gonna look for is our opponent just hiding their chin in a more or less kind of direct path where that chin's glued to his chest, okay? First thing is make, making sure our alignment is correct. So our, it'll be more difficult to expose the neck and get past our opponent's chin if we're uh, either too high or too low relative to our opponent and our resulting finish will be a lot weaker as well. So we wanna make sure that our shoulders kind of are the same line. You can also think the top of your head is the same line. We could think about being ear to ear, whatever, uh, whatever works for you in terms of kind of uh, giving you a, a benchmark for your alignment. Okay, and now we're dealing with that chin straight down. So we're gonna to try to press our opponent or block them or cage them in with our head position. So it's difficult for him to move out of this situation now. And rather than looking for an insertion point on the side of the neck, what we're gonna to try to do is kind of find a bone-to-bone a, a -bone connection with our choking implement of this arm, okay, and our opponent's chin. So we can use the metacarpal of our thumb here, or we can use the, the uh, kind of our radius near, near our wrist, or our wrist joint. So I'm gonna use the radius now. I'm finding kind of that, the, bony part of my opponent's chin and it just just below it's usually like a fat deposit there or a lot of skin so i'm trying to find kind of a bone to bone connection i'm caging his head in and now i'm going to start to build pressure straight back okay so i'm really trying to build pressure and it just bone to bone here and now we're going to skip off of that control okay and find our opponent's neck so we're building all that pressure and then really what's happening is there's that the, the movement of the skin over the bones is what we're gonna kind of harness that effect to skip our, uh, our attacking arm under his chin and finding a connection to his neck. Okay, so one more time this time I'm gonna use the metacarpal. I'm caging his, his head in here. I'm driving straight back. I'm not looking for an insertion point. And I'm pushing forward with my head. I'm building pressure, building pressure. And now I'm gonna skip to find my opponent's neck. Okay, uh, it's the same effect as like, you know, we learn like a basic wrist release. If someone grabs your wrist, how no matter how tightly they grab, there's still there'll still be some movement of the, the skin over the bones here. So, yeah, one last time, I'm gonna build pressure, build pressure, build pressure, skip, and find this neck. Now, once we have connection to our opponent's neck here, we're gonna we're gonna chase that connection. So I'm not looking to just get overzealous and reach for his shoulder, which will oftentimes slide the chin back to the inside. And I'm chasing this connection, like putting pressure into this connection. So even if he tries to like look in an explosive way towards my elbow and dip his chin kind of over the meaty part of my forearm and scoop there, that if he did that, I will follow by moving my elbow, okay? Now, at this point, we're gonna put our hand down. We can extend our fingers because we have both the, my opponent's arms controlled. Okay, and I'm gonna push down, lifting the hand and wrist. Okay, so we're not gonna ever reach when our hand, wrist, or forearm is weighted. That's the idea, because when we reach when it's weighted, that's where we, again, lose our opponent's chin here. So I'm gonna lift, drop and walk. Lift, drop and walk. Lift, drop and walk. Okay, until we find our hand okay, where to it, its, uh, its target. So what we're looking for is this typically is an edge to hold on to. So I'm getting our hand behind our opponent's body here. We're looking for an edge typically on the, the top of the scapula. There's like a, a, a bony edge there. Sometimes if someone's much, much, uh, or really big or really muscular, we kind of can't find that, but we can find an edge where the, the trapezius muscle kind of uh, provides us with a handful there. So again, lift, drop, walk, lift, drop, walk, lift, drop, walk, lift, drop, walk. Now I'm 
protecting the edge of my own wrist, okay? Because as I release here, my opponent is gonna come look to find that. So I'm defending that with my head. Now I get my hands together, okay? And I can finish. Okay, so one more time. We have the, however we trapped the arms, we trapped the arms. We're trying to keep his head, like his chin, straight down his body. Okay, so our, our head is pushing his, his head into position and trying to maintain that chin positioning for my opponent. I'm gonna build pressure, skip under the chin, pressing back against the neck. Okay, and now when we're ready, we're gonna lift and advance. Lift and advance, lift and advance until we find our finishing position. Here we can finish with one arm, we can finish with a short choke, or with the rear naked shot, okay? So that would be our, our, our primary way to get under the chin. Uh, something that does happen sometimes though is our opponent will hide their chin and roll their shoulder forward and make this connection, almost like a, a, a boxer when they throw a jab here. And this can be a very difficult uh, problem to solve here to, to, to find the net. So again, I'm gonna show another solution. I think this is, uh, not the one that Marcella does, so, so this is the way that I like to solve this problem here. I'm gonna start by using my head aggressively to try to peel that, that connection apart somewhat. Okay. And now I'm gonna open my hand, and instead of trying to find an insertion point here, I'm gonna drag back. Okay, so I'm gonna keep, sorry, I can't, maybe you could keep this super tight, I'm gonna keep working this hand and thumb back. And so that's how we're gonna get under the chin. As soon as we're under the chin, okay, with that metacarpal, we're gonna re kind of return to the same process of lifting, dropping, and advancing. So I'm trying not to push my opponent's kind of head in this direction, right? So I'm gonna lift, drop, lift, 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 and now we can find our 